All right, so power formulae derived. I want to come up with a few uh, equations for power as it relates to electricity. First of all, I want to put it in context. If I've got a simple circuit, I'll give myself a, an ammeter, a load of some sort. I'm going to choose to draw it as a resistor. Yeah, man. Tomorrow we're going to do a circuit building day. Okay. Tomorrow is the day after today. All right. So I <laughs> no, don't wish your day away. Tomorrow will be a day unto itself. All right. So we've got this circuit with a voltmeter and a, a current meter, an ammeter that is. Okay. So we can measure the current. We can measure the voltage. Uh, and if we can do those things, we could probably calculate resistance, right? V equals I R. We've talked about Ohm's law in the past. Ohm's law was something that we used along with a couple of other equations to come up with a formula for energy. Okay, so remember we used Ohm's law and a couple of other equations and even measurements to, to talk about finding current, voltage, and temperature. And previously we've done, not temperature, time rather, another T word, um, to come up with some values. That's fine. These are things that we figured out before. And this energy formula is something that we've derived before. So I'm going to bring it up as previous knowledge. So we could say recall E equals V times I times T. And now, since we just talked about it, even previous in this course, we've talked about power consumption as being the amount of energy that gets used per unit of time. So joules per second. That's, that's a definition. Power is the amount of energy that gets consumed per unit of time. Now I'd like to bring this old energy equation and this old power equation together to make something new and sensational that relates to power in electricity. Got it? Okay. Sensational. I'd like to sub this equation into this equation. So I'm going to say power is equal to V times I times delta T over delta T. Hey, can you see where I'm going next? Cross are the delta T's. So I could say that when it comes to finding power consumed by a circuit, if I can measure voltage and current for that circuit, I can determine a power rating for that circuit. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Of course. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I could put an asterisk beside that because I'm going to say it's special. Special things get a star. That guy gets a star. Let's come up with some more special things. Um, I've made use of one old equation. I've made use of a second old equation. I'm going to make use of a third old equation. Here's my third old equation. V equals I R. Ohm's law. I'm going to make use of this third old equation and I'm going to sub it in to my brand spanking new equation. And I'm going to say that if I sub that in, it would be P equals, not V times I, but I times R times I. Can you see what we did there? No. Uh, see what we did there? No. Instead of V, we wrote I R. <laughs> and I can simplify that power expression as? I squared R. I squared R. Woo! Okay, that's enough from the back row, please. Getting too excited. <laughs> Let's call it special with a star, okay? We've got one more special one to come up with. So I'd like to propose, instead of saying V equals I times R, I'm going to rearrange this expression, Ohm's law, uh, as I equals V over R. And again, I'm going to take this rearranging of Ohm's law, and I'd like to sub it into the P equals V times I to see what new and exciting thing I get out. Okay, so the new and exciting thing that I get out of that is going to be P is equal to V times V over R. Instead of writing I, I'm writing V over R. How does this guy simplify out? Beauty. V squared over R. And again, I'm going to put a star beside it to really express my feelings for it. Okay? So we got three nice, sweet equations. These guys are new equations. This one up here is an old one. But all four of these, even though it's old, I'll put a star beside it because I love it. We got four nice equations for determining power.
okay? If you know the energy that's been consumed by some method, maybe somebody even tells you it, but maybe you can figure out by some method using voltage current and the amount of time that goes by, like with the stopwatch, you could do it that way. You could use just the voltage and the current. If you happen to know the resistance of your circuit, maybe you've used some Kirchhoff laws to calculate the resistance of your circuit, and you know the current going into your circuit, that is the I total for your circuit, you could figure out the power for your circuit then, okay? If you know the resistance for your circuit and you know the voltage across the load, bingo, bango. You got lots of ways to find power, okay? Now with these calculations, we're gonna use joules, seconds, volts, but we've outlined before how you could really also use household units. We're gonna focus a little bit more with the, the uh, SI units, international units, okay? The base units. So I want you to switch over to your fill in the blank sheet and I want to summarize the formulas we know all or the formulae that we know all in one spot so it's a nice tidy organizer. we will increase the contrast a little bit here. Zoom in. We're zooming. All right. So the V is equal to I times R we made use of. And some people like this dirty little formula put into a pyramid. I hate pyramids. The only reason I put the pyramid there is to tell you don't use it. Okay? It's, it's not good to hate. Hate is such a strong word, but I mean it. So I'm going to use it. Power is equal to delta E over delta T. Power is equal to V times I. Power is, power is equal to I squared R, and power is equal to, what's the other one? V squared, v squared over R. You got it. All right. Now on your sheet, and I'm going to ask you to do this in a minute, you've got this first circuit here. Now the 100 volts indicates that that's the total voltage for the circuit. Here's a load over here that has 250 ohms of resistance. The next circuit you're going to look at is this one here. It's a series circuit, a 400 ohm resistor on resistor 1, 167 on resistor 2, 100 ohms on resistor 3, and the total voltage for the circuit for the series circuit is 100 volts. I know it's a little fuzzy up here. And for the third one, it's a parallel junction. Resistor 2 is 167 ohms. Resistor 3 is 100 ohms. Resistor 1 is 400 ohms. And again, the total voltage for the circuit is 100 volts. And we're going to add, and I want you to notice, that Kirchhoff's laws for series and parallel junctions are along the left-hand side. We know the resistance equation. We know the equality for current. We know the voltage equation for series junctions. And now I want to propose a power one for series junctions. Okay. For parallel, same thing. We've got a resistance, current, voltage, and now a power, one that I want to propose for, for junctions, okay? That's it. I'm going to let you guys go with it, okay? You've got the next few minutes to solve these three circuits for all the values that are unknown.